Hello and welcome to Blender Savage. All right, so today I'm gonna show you guys how to model a Pokeball. You gotta catch them all, huh? All right, so you wanna do first, it's go on Google and go to Google Images and find yourself a picture of a Pokeball. And you're gonna save it to your desktop. Um, once you save it to your desktop, you're gonna open up your Blender, hit the end key for Nancy, and you'll get a menu like this, a panel like this, Transform Properties panel. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and look for something called background images. There's mine. You're going to left click on the box to the left of it. It's activated. There we go. Got the check mark in there now. There's a whole menu in here, but we got to open it up. So we're going to click on the expand icon here, a little triangle. Bam. And we're going to go to add image. And then you got to go to open. All right. And on your left side over here, you can, look, you can find your desktop uh, directory there. I'm going to open that up. And here I got a couple of Pokeballs. Uh, this picture I don't like too much. This one I like better. I'm gonna open this one up, double click. All right, so I can't see it right now, but it is designed, so um, it was brought in, so I can see it in all the views. This is user view, so I can't see it there. You have to be in one of these views. Left view, right, back, front, bottom, top, or all views or camera view. So right now it's on all views. And you also gotta be in ortho view to see it, in ortho mode. So I'm at the five key on the number pad. That's ortho, and then one for front view. And there it is, there's my picture. All right, so I'm gonna tuck this away and keep for Nancy. There we go. Let me uh, delete this cube because the uh, Pokeball is spherical, right? So I'm gonna not, not square, not cube. I'm gonna delete that, X key delete. All right, so there's my picture. And I can try to center it too. Uh, but a quick tip, when you go uh, find your picture, try to get one where this, uh, this line that goes down the center from left to right, try to get one where it's hor uh, directly horizontal not uh not kind of circular where the ball's at an angle or something like that this will make it a lot easier to model if uh, if it's a straight line all right so i'm heading for nancy again and i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna make this panel wider so i can see these uh these tools better i'm gonna change the y here so i can move my picture so i'm gonna hold down the left mouse button in the middle and just drag it left or right there we go drag it to the left so i can bring it down it looks centerish and you got to move it to the right a little bit so i'll use the x over here Oh, 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 let me click on a little button, the other way, and let's see, should I move it up over here, it has to be centerish, not perfect, that's center enough for me, I can change the size of it here and rotate it as well, I'm going to tuck that away in for Nancy, I'm going to bring in a sphere, and I'll make the big part first, so uh, shift A, bring up the add menu mesh, UV sphere, there we go. Z for wireframe, and we can see through it, make it transparent. S for scale, and just scale it up. So uh, depending on your picture, you might not get a perfect circle. It, uh, your picture might be distorted a little bit, or it's kind of more like an oval. S for scale some more. We move it off to the left a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to uh, somewhat look like it. S for scale. Oh, oh. There we go, I'll go with that. Here's my Pokeball. So I'm going to take this into edit mode, tap key for edit mode, there we go, and I know I'm in edit mode because it tells me edit mode there, and now I can see the vertex is there in, uh, in vertice selection. Alright, so I'm going to cut off this uh, edge here, this whole row of vertices down the center, so I can create the, uh, the middle part here. First, I think I'm going to add, um, I'm going to add an edge here and here, so I'm going to hover over the side of my Pokeball in between these two edges, between the middle one and the one after the middle one. And you can hold down control and then R on your keyboard just briefly. Cool, so you get a pink line. I'm gonna left click once and then move it down slightly so it's right on that red line. And then left click again. There we go, I just created a loop cut. So control R is a loop cut. And that just loops all the way around, see? Do the same thing for the bottom over here. So I'm gonna go between these two here, put my mouse there, and then control R, release control R, left click and bring it down a little bit. Right there, left click, cool. And now I'm gonna do a loop selection. I'm gonna select this whole row here. I can do a border select or, let me select, deselect this one first, A to deselect. Or you can hold on the alternate key, Alt key, right next to spacebar, and then right click on the actual edge itself. There we go. See, I just selected the whole middle edge. Uh, don't select the vertex. See, alternate, right click, alternate, right click. So you might get this one here. You don't want that one. You wanna get this, uh, the other one. So, as a, as a best practice, you wanna select the actual edge itself, not the vertex. A to deselect. Alternate key, 
and then here I'm gonna get the edge. Remember the edge is the line, the wire, not the little dot. All right, so I'm gonna delete this, I'm gonna X delete, and I'm gonna go to edges, delete, sorry, verte vertices. There you go, delete the whole vertices. There we go, C for solid view. Now I've got a hollowed out Pokeball. We'll change that up in a bit. All right, see for wireframe again. And I'm gonna make uh, this part down here. So I'm gonna hold on the alternate key, right click this edge there, cool. Mid E to extrude, S for scale, and then move the mouse inward until that orange line is where the black line is at, the orange dot. Decimal key to zoom in center. Oops, let me zoom in with the mouse. When I brought it in, you might have seen that there getting smaller. It is for scale, make it a little bit more smaller. There we go. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. You need to extrude and bring it out. Uh, Z, snap it to the Z axis. E and then Z, put it about right there. Because later I'm going to connect it with the other one. So I'm not going to bring it down all the way down towards the middle. So I'm going to do the same down here. A to deselect that. Hold on the alternate key and right click that. There we go. Right click the edge there. I'm going to hit E and S. And then move the mouse inward until the uh, vertex, vertex at the edge is at the um, at the edge of the black right there. Cool. And then left click to commit to that. And then E and Z. E to extrude and Z to snap it to the Z axis and just bring it up. Okay. Bring it up close to the other one. Don't let it overlap. All right, now I'm going to border select both of these here. You can also, I also could have done a multi-select. I could have done, uh, hold on the alternate and shift key at the same time and then right click the other edge, I would have got both of them. Now I'm going to bridge these here together, because right now it's uh, hollowed out in there. I'm going to make them, to, I'm going to bring them together. So I'm at W for specials, at the specials menu here, by hitting the W key on my uh, keyboard, and look for bridge edge loops. Bridge edge loops, left click that, cool. Yeah, just bridge it there, see for solid view. See, there we go. Gotta catch them all. All right, ADD select, there's that. And if you want one that's kind of tapered off, you can always uh, get the bottom of this here, loop select that bottom part, and pull it down along the z-axis. But I'm gonna leave mine like this. I'm gonna add another um, uh, loop select here. Another, uh, sorry, another loop cut. Because later, when I want to make it smoother, I don't want it to look all weird there. So I'm gonna do uh, Control R again over here onto the side. Left click once and bring it down by that edge right there because later I'm going to use a subdivision surface modifier which will smooth everything out and if I don't add that there it's going to look kind of weird going down so it's going to smooth around the edges it'll look like it has ripples like folds around that corner it won't be as sharp control R left click once bring it up and right there is good so don't let it touch but you can get close to it just don't let it touch there we go all right so now I'm going to go over here to the uh, properties panel make this wider hold on the left mouse button move to the left once your cursor becomes a double-sided arrow, you can expand it out. All right, I'm gonna go over here to materials. This icon here, orange BMW logo, black widow symbol, um, hourglass, whatever you want to call that. And then new, and pokeballs are red and white, right? Red and white. So let's make our red first. I'm gonna left click inside here, type in red, diffuse, and let's make a red there, something a little brighter. Oops, how'd I go in that purple? There we go. Purple, I think that's the master ball. All right, there we go. So Z for wireframe. So the top part is red, the bottom part is white. Z for solid view, A to deselect. I gotta select this whole bottom part here. So I'm gonna go to face selection. Z for wireframe and then border select this whole area here. There we go. And with the wireframe on, I was able to select all the way across. And I'm gonna add a new material here, plus sign. And then new, call this one white. So the default mesh color is kind of white, it's more like a gray, I think. I would say it's more like a grayish color. So I'm gonna make it brighter here, intensity, jack that all the way up. Left click inside the white around the rectangle below diffuse and bring the value all the way up. And then spec it here, intensity all the way up. And then let's see, I'm gonna bring up the value in that, it's already all the way up. Assign, over here, solid view, AD select. It all looks pretty white. All right, so now I'm gonna select the center part here and I'm gonna color that black. Z for wireframe, B border select, and get those three rows of faces there. Z for solid view. Cool. All right, make a new color, plus sign, new, hold this one black. There we go. Click inside the wire and the rectangle below diffuse. 
And to make black, you just have to bring the uh, the value all the way down. Notice we made white, we left that in the center. That's the that's as white as it'll get. And then to get black, you just have to just bring this down. It doesn't matter what color it is, it's just gonna darken it. This is the value here. Either make your color uh, brighter or white or just black. And then assign. And there we go. Object mode. Cool. So our Pokeball is still not done. So we gotta make this uh, this part here. So this part more uh, more cylindrical like, right? So we'll bring in a cylinder for that. So Shift A, Mesh, UV Cylinder. Make sure you do this in Object Mode. Tap key for Object Mode. All right, so I want my cylinder to be a separate of the object. All right, so right now my cylinder is actually inside my uh, my Pokeball here. So I'm in three for right view. Go down the left mouse button and just pull it out forward to the left. And go one for front view. Now it's out here in the front. And um, this round part, the circular part, facing up. I want it to face me. Here's the x-axis, so I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees along the x-axis. So I'm going to hit R, X, after the rotation to the x-axis, then 90, enter. So that's R, X, 90, enter. And there we go, so now my cylinder is how I want it to be. All right, Z for wireframe, here's my cylinder there. That orange glow is kind of hard to see. I'm just going to scale it up. I'm trying to make it as wide as this other circle here. It's G for grab, and I'll put it right there. Let's see, that's for scale a little bit more. Or scale it down. Yeah, I'll leave it there. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, just somewhat like it. All right, <clears throat> three for right view, and I'm gonna push it inside of it a little bit, halfway. There we go. And then later we'll we'll properly adjust it in there. This is just gonna be for the modeling. So remember the Pokeball we made it so it's visible in all views. That's why it looks like that here, the the picture of the Pokeball. So one for front view. There we go. And I'm gonna take this cylinder here into edit mode. Tap key edit mode. There we go, and your cylinder should be the only thing glowing. I can't even select the, the sphere because it's not in it's not an object mode, it's a separate object. All right, A to deselect. I want to select this whole loop here on uh, in front of the face, so I can model the rest of the Pokeball. So I'm in three for right view, and switch over to vertex selection. There we go. I'm just gonna border select here the front. There we go. One for front view. And I'm gonna E to extrude, and then S for scale. E S and move the mouse inward so I get to the white area. There we go, cool. And then E S again until I get to the this, this gray area here. But I probably want to create a extra extra edges. So I'm gonna do E S and just scale down a little bit, just a little bit, just a tad. There we go. And this part actually I think it sticks out. This white part here. So I'm in three for right view. That's the more key to center that. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. So I'm at E. And then Y, snap it to the Y axis, move it to the left a little bit. There we go, one for front view. So now that's slightly raised. And then I'm gonna do ES, scale it inward a little bit. Stop right there. I'm gonna do ES again and go all the way there. ES, all the way to the, to the shadowy area. Stop right there, then ES, and all the way down into the lighter area. Stop right there. Three for right view, and I'm gonna pull this forward here a little bit more. There we go. I'm gonna do uh, E S and pull back. Oops, sorry. So now I'm just gonna do G Y and pull back a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna scale that out. S for scale. And make it line up with the uh, outside there. And this is just later for the for the subdivision uh, surface modifier. Three for solid view. All right, looking good, looking good. Let's color this bad boy here. All right, so only the center part here is white. So let's color uh, black for the whole thing first. Let's just go with black. So I don't have to create a new material. I can just click here, materials icon to the left of new, and select black, makes the whole thing black. And now to make it white, I have to go and select the, the white material. The white material, but first I have to hit the plus sign, because it's another material. I can select white here, there's white. And now I want to click a sign for now because I know that's going to be white, but more of it's going to be white here. So you see for wireframe, and all of this area is going to be white. So I'm going to go to face selection, and pull mouse here in the center, hit C for circle selection. So you get a white circle. You can spin the mouse wheel and make it wider. I want to select just those right there, so left click. Oh, got too much. Control Z that. I should actually press the, turn off the tool, so I'm going to right click. Control Z. All right, C for circle selection. I'll make a smaller circle. I'm still getting all of that. So I'm going to right click it. Now just deselect it. Oh, you know what? I got the back of it. 
that's okay we're not gonna see that part anyways all right one for front view so want to get this part here I didn't get it let me see three for right view you know just border select it from here so three for right view I'm gonna border select it off to the side here don't go too far in because you don't want to grab those other faces all right we got them all I catch them all one for front view let's see so I can get those other row of faces here I guess I could leave them like that all right so I made a sign there Z for solid view there we go bam okay ball all right tab key for object mode see and you can use the green arrow here change your view to right view use the green arrow pull it back let's see here there we go so usually pokeballs I don't think this um Strong part sticks out that much, or does it? Yeah, so it still looks pretty cool. Let's see how far we can go. All right, right there, one for front view. Now let's uh, smooth this out. So I'm gonna right click on the ball itself. Get smooth over here. There you go, smooths it nice and neat. Right click this one here, smooth. And let's see how does that look? Do I, look the, do I like the look of that? Let me go to flat, back to flat. So you can leave it as is with flat, or if not, you can go over here, uh, go to the properties panel again, you can select the modifier, click on the wrench, modifier tool, and then go to add modifier, and go to subdivision surface. There we go. So these are the little ripples I was talking about earlier. So I need to add an extra edge in there to get rid of those. Let's see. That's a little division there. Let's see here. More make it. I guess the, it doesn't look as noticeable. I go all the way up to four. Well, it actually looks really cool. All right, so I'll leave it there. But if you need to make a, if your has a lot of ripples, if they don't go away, select your cylinder. Tab key for edit mode. But I don't have my cylinder selected. There, right click cylinder. What's going on? I want to select my cylinder. There we go. Tab key edit mode. Over front view. Go to vertex selection, and then you just got to create more. Um, more of these edges here. So I'm gonna right click, uh, loop select this edge here, alternate, right click, one for front view, and then E, and then sh S, and shift Y, so it doesn't scale up, uh, forward or back. You can just bring that forward a little bit. And let's see, that took away some of the, some of those ripples. Object mode. A little neater rendered let's see what we get over here where's my ball there it is let's bring some more lighting in here back to object back to solid view select the light then for top view G for grab put the light up here in the front go here to the lamp change it to a spotlight and from here from top view center top view R for rotate make it point at my pokeball there you change the energy to two. You're back to one for front view. Let's move it back some more. And point at my ball. There we go. One for front view. And over here back to rendered. There we go. It's time to catch up all, bruh. That is so cool. All right, guys. Well, that's how you make a, a Pokeball. Very easy. Didn't take that long. Uh, thank you for uh, watching my video. If you can hit me with a like, with a comment, you know, any, any feedback. You know, if you have any challenges making this Pokeball, go ahead and ask me in the comments. I'll answer back as soon as possible, at my earliest convenience. And uh, if you can subscribe, that'd be freaking awesome too. And if you can share this, I would love that too. Anything helps. Anything helps. Thank you guys. Have an awesome day. And I hope you uh, enjoyed the movie Pokemon Detective Peach, Pikachu. I need I need uh need to practice pronouncing my words. Have a good day guys.